So hi guys, look at this fabulous chicken that I made with the pressure cooker. My family says it is the bomb.com. So I use this Fiberware pressure cooker. And as you can see, uh, I paid about maybe $79.99 for it at Walmart. I'm always at Walmart. <laughs> The pressure cooker actually comes with a recipe book and I chose to make the quick barbecue wings, but instead of making the barbecue wings, I made sweet golden mustard uh, wings. It has like a sweet taste to it. And the recipe says um, use butter, salt and pepper and garlic powder, but I used butter, Keith's Farm chicken seasoning, garlic powder, salt, and it tells you to put uh, barbecue sauce in the pressure cooker, but I did not. I put sweet golden mustard sauce in the pressure cooker. And um, the wings came out like this. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And this time I'm going to do uh, buffalo wings. So what you do is you wash your chicken, you season it. I went ahead and seasoned with the season, seasoning that I just showed you. I'm old school with my chicken, babe. I still use a bag. I wash the bag out, make sure it's uh, clean. And then I put my season in a bag and I shake that bag, shake that bag, honey. I still use a bag. Then the recipe tells you to open up the pressure cooker. So you turn it and you open it up. And it said to put uh, butter in it. So I put butter in it already and I let it melt and I'm going to place the wings in there. So I have placed the, placed the chicken in the pressure cooker like so. Put in that melted butter just like so. And this time I'm going to add Sweet Baby Ray's uh, chicken sauce. Not what I wanted to add because I wanted some buffalo sauce but my mom went to the grocery store and she got the wrong one but i'm sure this is going to be good as well so i'm going to take it and you know you just it says to coat it i'm going to coat it all up coat it i pray this one is good like the uh other ones so i think that's enough for these few wings and then you take the lid Turn it, lock it, and then you press start, and it says to put it on PO6 to cook the chicken. Press start again, and see the green light is on, so it is cooking, and it um, advises me to cook it for 30 minutes. After you lock and seal it, here is a pressure uh, indicator. You press it down. There's a red button. And when the red button pops up, then the pressure is uh, building up inside of the pressure cooker. So we're going to close that up so the chicken can get steamed. So guys, listen, listen to that sizzling FYI. This is to let you know that uh, the steam is coming out. The steam is not supposed to be coming out of this. It's supposed to be going in. Um, so turn this and see the steam is staying in so it can cook the chicken in 30 minutes as promised. And you will also know that it's cooking the chicken in 30 minutes as promised uh, because the red this red button is sticking out. At first it was not sticking out. If you notice, roll the tape back. It was not sticking out. But now uh, the steam is staying in, so it's cooking the chicken well and uh, faster. Hi guys, so 30 minutes are up. It's gonna say OH. Um, I forgot to show you, but it does a countdown the last 10 minutes. It shows your countdown. Now, <laughs> you're going to have to watch this. 
So it says push stop when it's done. It says let the chicken uh, sit for five minutes. Let the pressure out. So I'm going to let the pressure out here. This thing is extremely hot, guys, so don't touch it. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Oh, my God. Look at all that pressure coming out like that. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. Look at that pressure. It's almost dangerous. Oh, no. I don't know about this. It said once the pressure is all, all the way out, the red indicator. Oh, shoot. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. That red button. I'm just going to say that red button will go down. And so when the red button is all the way down in the slot again, there it is. So the pressure is out. Ooh. 